What's going on guys? It's Nathan. It was my birthday the other day. Um wanted to just show what I got for my birthday, pretty much. Um and also tell a crazy story that happened when I went to go see Doctor Strange again. Kinda crazy. So first off I'm gonna show off what I got. Um first off this brand new professional microphone. I hope I'm sounding a lot better than my normal recordings, so if I am please let me know. No, I'm gonna just listen to myself, never mind. Um but yeah, it works great. Um I love it a lot. Um, kind of obscuring my face, isn't it? <laughs> um, I hope I'm being picked up good. Um, if not, I'll just turn it up. Um, <coughs> sorry. Just wanted to, yeah, show what I got. So, first off, I got this cool Star Wars t-shirt right here. Pretty cool. Uh, original trilogy stuff. Uh, two other shirts. First of all, this was a really cool find. If you've seen Doctor Strange, you know what this is. This is the Eye of Agamotto. So that was a cool t-shirt to get. Um, of course, the rest of the stuff is pretty much Star Wars. So, um, I got Finn's bloody Stormtrooper helmet. That's pretty cool. Got a sweet... Rogue One t-shirt of all the stormtroopers and various other Imperial troops that will be in the film. So, that's great. Also, probably what I'm going to be wearing to the premiere of Rogue One is this awesome Imperial propaganda type shirt. Um, it says, enlist... Sorry, I can't... I gotta see it myself. Um... Enlist in the Galactic Empire. It's pretty cool. It's got Krennic and the Dark Troopers down at the bottom and Darth Vader himself. Cool thing is the shirt actually glows in the dark. I'm actually going to test that, see how that looks. So, hold on. I'm an idiot. I left my monitor on. So, we're not going to do that. <laughs> in addition... I picked up this hoodie. Um, I don't know if it's looking more orange than red, but it is a solid red with black. Um, yep, it does got the hoodie. Um, what I picked it out mainly because of the design. Like it had the black here. It also has sort of a rigid sewing detail on the arms. So I thought that was cool. Um, not for my personal normal wear, even though I probably will wear it on a few times. Um, it's for the Time Blazer series, guys. Um, at some point in the script, um, the main character Scott is going to be fighting some crime as a superhero would do. So he's got to wear something. Something that's just um, something to put on. Like, flashy enough to look like a superhero, but not to go all out. So, got this. And I think it'll work pretty well. Um, in the world of posters... First off, even though I've yet to see it, though I really want to, I uh, got a Fantastic Beast poster. I was probably glaring so badly, but yep, yeah, it's really cool. Also, of course, I went to go see Doctor Strange, so I got another Doctor Strange poster. Um, I think I have any poster, I'd probably take it. Um, this was the exclusive one that you would get if you saw the 15-minute uh, preview in IMAX 3D. So, take a look there. It's pretty cool. I love it. But I think my most favorite thing I got um, is, you know, um, a lot of places. Um, I got this from JCPenney. It's normally places like that, which is weird. Um, they have wood posters it, this is a legit poster it's just on wood um thought it was really cool it is in fact the teaser poster to the empire strikes back now of course i had to pick this up it's just it's really cool uh the star wars saga continues got vader's helmet i think it's the episode 4 helmet because that's really probably all they had 
that's cool time they got the credits of the cast members and producers director george lucas all that good amazing stuff 20th century fox all that really cool um and what was cool was it was on clearance uh the, Normally this would go for thirty dollars, as it, according to these stickers back here, but it was on clearance for ten forty nine. I thought, hey, that's a that's a great deal. My birthday, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> so that's awesome. Um, okay, now for the story. So I'm gonna look into the mic pretty much. <laughs> um, so I went to go see Doctor Strange in real D three D this time because it wasn't playing at IMAX anymore because of Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. I really want to go see it at least one time in IMAX before Rogue One hits. So, hopefully I could do that. Anyway, uh, so, we leave an hour. I leave before an hour. I can't talk. <laughs> I left an hour before the film starts. Um, sort of a bad move because uh, my grandpa was taking me. Uh, love him to death, man, but he drives very slow. It was very slow. Um, we we're going to pick up my friend. There was a couple problems. Number one, um, I was messaging him and he wasn't answering, which was really bad because I figured, oh, he's asleep. But I actually found out later, I didn't have his up-to-date number. So I would, as a backup, normally message him on Facebook because he's, I feel like he's more active on Facebook. You know, he's on his phone. I, I don't know. I don't know. Just, it, it worked out. And I could see when, like, he sees the message, so I'm not <laughs> just, like, left hanging. I'm one of those people who are just like, hey, did you, did you see it? Because <laughs> I like to um, get stuff planned out, so. Anyway, um, not only are we heading to his place, I forgot where he lived, man. Um, went up just, like, probably, like, a little bit from my house to where he lives, and I went around his old area of where he would live in an apartment. He, he moved since then, um, and it turns out in the end we passed by, so about, like, almost half an hour, we get there. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just, I keep pausing. Anyway, we get there. Um, I, I'm sitting with his family, pretty much his whole family's there. It's like, oh, all right. Where, where is he? Uh, he, oh, it's my friend Ty, by the way. You saw him in the, if you watched my Roman numeral saga. He's Nick. And he'll be Nick in Time Blazer. Big character. Anyway, he just got up. He's in the shower. So, oh my god. We have like 30 minutes before our show. He's just now taking a shower. Oh, and then he's going to brush his teeth and all that. And it's like, oh my god. There's so much for him to do. We don't have time. We got to go. But I was too respectful to say anything like that. So I was just like, oh, okay. So I sat there watching like 10 random minutes of The Good Dinosaur. Which I hadn't seen. But it was pretty good from what I saw. Uh, I want to, I want to see it. Anyway, he finally gets out and it's like, okay, um, he's like, hey, should I, where, I'm like, dude, I don't, I don't care, we gotta go. <laughs> he was like, yeah, you're right, so we, we ran off, so, it was a combination of everybody's fault being lit. My grandpa was slow, I forgot where he lived, and I didn't have his updated number. He was sleeping, so he really didn't get to my Facebook message until, like, I got there. <sighs> anyway, we get there. Um, thank God AMC reserved seating. That's why I always buy my tickets online, because of reserve seating. Um, so I go up to the kiosk, I punch in the code. It's kind of not really picking up my fingerprints a couple times. So I'm like, come on, man. I'm being cautious not to type the wrong thing, because I don't think it has a backspace. So I punch in my ticket code, gives me my tickets. We head in. Longest line I've ever seen. I know it's Sunday, but my God. I figured Friday and Saturday were the biggest days, not Sunday. Certainly not pretty much in the morning, so... It was super crowded, by the way. Um, but I have AMC Stubbs, Premiere, so I got to go into a quick line. Like, they had the huge, massive line for uh, people who don't have Stubbs and people who have the basic Stubbs. I have Stubbs Premiere, so I had this little professional line that I zipped into. Um, and there was only two people ahead of us, but, of course, they have to make big orders. And I was like, God, why? Why? I gotta go. Um, the only plus that was going for us was it's reserved seating. And I've seen the film already, but Ty didn't. So anyway, so we finally get up there. We order it's um basically lunchtime, and I want to enjoy it because I like their chicken tenders, curly fries. They're very delicious. Ketchup, all that, great. So I order two of those for me and him. Uh, we get a medium popcorn split. Uh, we ate about half that. Shouldn't have got it at all. Um, so 
of course, the uh, combo of the chicken and fries come with a drink, so we take those, we go over, carrying the popcorn. Oh my god. I'm already like, okay, we gotta hurry, we gotta hurry, so we're going to the uh, Coke mixed flavor machine. I, I just get Sprite, I, and I drain it first so that I get my actual Sprite, not the previous drink someone got. <laughs> so, I do that. He's getting his drink out of the other machine next to me, and I'm holding the popcorn, so... And then I grab my drink. Here's the horrible thing. I grabbed it too close to the top. So as I'm carrying it over, it's slipping out of my hand. This full thing of Sprite and ice is slipping out of my on my fingertips. It's about to drop. And it does. It drops. So in a quick reaction that I don't want it to just burst all over the floor, I take, I take my knee. I take my knee and I pin it against the counter um so it's pinned there sprite gushed up not a lot though like out of the large i think about that much came out so i'm not saying this much i'm saying from the original this is how much was lost not that bad but still it got onto my leg and it went into my shoe that has a mesh top so it it bled into my shoe. but I, And he was like, dude, you could ask for help. And I'm like, I wasn't thinking. I didn't even know it was going to ha- It happened too fast. So I was like, okay, just... I grabbed, like, napkins real quick. All right, I got this. Luckily, um, staff was really okay with it. They they cleaned it up for me. I was like, thank you. So I got... I got the refill of Sprite. Um, set the popcorn down, which is what I should have done in the first place. Um, put it over, put my lid on, get my drink. It is a drink. I get my, I get my straw. So I grab that. I grab the popcorn. He's got his drink. I'm like, all right, let's go. We go to the theater. We go to our reserved seats. Set everything down. It's actually a big turnout, and that's really good. I like it when films have big turnout because you get more of an audience reaction. It gets you more into the film. Um, some people may not feel that way, but and honestly, in the science of it, it is how it is. Um, especially comedies. So we're there, and I'm like, all right, you know, I'm gonna go back for our stuff. You stay here since you've seen it. So I go, and I sit down, and it's like a minute left. Like, they're showing the uh, first look stuff that are basically commercials. And then they get into the real trailers, and it's like, sweet, I made it for the trailers, because I like being there for trailers. And with this big turnout, we're also going to get audience reactions for the trailers. That's great. Um, And since my YouTube channel is built around reaction videos, at least a little bit, um, I was like, okay, cool. Yes, this is great. So, did that. We're all chill. I'm I'm recovering, getting my oxygen back from moving around so much. And I was like, thank God we made it. <laughs> so, we watched the movie. He loved it. That's awesome. Because Doctor Strange is... Um, actually, I have a list of my top MCU films. So, I'm going to pull that up real quick. Um, but anyway, he loved it. And then we walked out and got the posters... Yeah, Doctor Strange is my fourth favorite Marvel film of all time. Uh, so he loved it a lot. Actually, my all right, quick quick rundown. My favorite MCU films at number fourteen is Iron Man two. Number thirteen is Incredible Hulk. Number twelve, Thor: The Dark World. Number eleven, the first Iron Man. Number ten, first Thor. Number nine, Iron Man three. Number eight, Avengers: Age of Ultron. Number seven, Ant Man. Number six, Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Number five, Captain America: The First Avenger. Yeah, I actually did that like that a lot more. Than Soldier. Number four is Doctor Strange. Number three is Marvel's The Avengers. First Avengers. Uh, number two is Guardians of the Galaxy. And number one is Captain America Civil War. That That is my favorite of the MCU. That went off topic. I don't care. So, that was my birthday, guys. Then we um, went to IHOP because I, I don't really... Like, somebody asked you, hey, where do you want to eat? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I never know. Um... Just whatever place has chicken, because I like chicken a lot. Seriously, I it's unhealthy how much I love chicken. Chicken, and if there's a way to have it boneless, I will put it with ketchup. Yep. <laughs> uh, so, I didn't get that, though. I went to, I felt like, man, I shouldn't do this. But it was really hard for me to decide where to go, because it was like, okay, I have to be cheaper than Longhorn Steakhouse. Where do I go? And I'm not too big on Italian. Uh... Chinese, nah, 
I mean, I love Chinese food. Don't get me wrong. It's just that's more of a thing. I stay home and order. It would be like getting the pizza. It's like I'm not doing that. I'm not going out to eat pizza. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I hop. And I was like, do they have anything other than breakfast? And they have like chicken and fries. But it's like for my birthday, I should really just get something else. I got breakfast. <laughs> Every time I get breakfast and I get the same stuff. Uh, so, but that was my birthday. That was my 18th birthday. We had a delicious cake, my favorite type of cake, cooking cream. Super good. It was really a marble cake with cooking cream icing and like this soft Oreo in the middle. On top, top in the middle, not in the dead center middle. That'd be amazing. But no, it was just sitting on top. <laughs> Man, we, we came home from eating and um, my friend Ty, he, uh, he, Eat, ate with us too that was really cool and then we dropped them off before we went home did cake opened up the sweet microphone Oops. <laughs> and then uh, we did the happy birthday with the cake and all that so that was great uh but then like we were all like okay who all wants a piece and nobody was really speaking up and i was like um does anybody actually want to eat the I i'm full do you guys want and they were like no no <laughs> we're full we don't want it so it was like yeah okay and it was a pretty small circle cake about that big so over the course of three days i ate like 75 percent of it <laughs> clearly <laughs> um but that was really cool so that was my 18th birthday i had a really fun time it wasn't a re anything too overblown i guess legally i can buy cigarettes and lottery tickets and all that but i'm not, I'm not i don't want to <laughs> um yeah so I'm 18. We've come a long way on this YouTube channel, guys. Um, I think I last I checked out 158 subscribers. Thank you guys so much, by the way. We started the year with 22, and now we're at 158. That's amazing. Seriously, I, I have to thank you guys so much for an incredible year on YouTube. It's just been great. I've had a couple problems here and there. I ran into this troll. Uh, maybe I can make that a story another time. Unless he still watches my channel, in which case I probably shouldn't. <laughs> um, in other news, um, last thing, Star Wars The Force Awakens is a movie review I'm going to be filming. I'm writing the script right now, I'm going to be filming it, and I will drop the final product, the full review, on my YouTube channel on December 15th, the premiere night of Rogue One. So before I go see Rogue One, I will release that to the world. Hopefully you guys like it. It's going to be in the style of your John Tron, Angry Video Game Nerd, Nostalgia Critic. It will be great. So if you guys don't haven't heard of him, you should go check him out. And then you'll see my review. You'll see some similarities of the style. But I'll make it my own. And I just want to have fun doing reviews like that. Because they inspired me to do that. So it's going to be fun. Um, with that being said, guys, that wraps it all up. I hope you have a great day. May the Force be with you always.